Assalamu alaikum viewers welcome to my channel you know what study if you are new on my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all the new videos in this tutorial we will try to learn that how to do the centenary analysis of multiple species like means more than two species like three four or five species i have already made the video on centenary analysis between two species if you want to know that how to make the centenary analysis or collinearity analysis between two species the link of that uh, uh, video you can find from here this is the link so you can uh, follow this link and watch that video but in this video we will talk about the collinearity or centenary analysis among different multiple species more than two species i have received many text emails but few comments about centenary analysis among multiple species that viewers asked me about that how we can prepare the centenary analysis among the multiple species i have also received the text emails and comments about the problem of not getting the collinearity file after completing the one step mc scan process when they do the mc scan process for the for the for the centenary analysis when the process finished so they didn't get the collinearity file which is the big problem because that collinearity file is the main file for the analysis of two species but doing the centenary analysis among various species mean more than two then you didn't need the collinearity or ctl file so in this way you will i think skip from this big problem so what are the requirement or required file for this analysis these are the this process comprises of three steps so we will discuss all the stuff one by one and then we will do the tutorial by one by one in the first step we do the one step mc scan process as we have already done in the um, two species centenary analysis so for this purpose we need the genomic file of our organisms that have the species that two organisms that three or four uh, with that we want to know the collinearity file collinearity analysis of our uh, uh, gene family among these four to five species so we need the genomic file and gff file of all the organisms for example we want to know the centenary analysis of our protein family that we are working in the um, tomato solanum uh, like persicum but i want to say that the gene family that hsp70 that i am working in the uh, solanum lycopersicum I, and i want to check its uh, centenic region in other three or four crops like uh, oreas taiva or glacin max or arabidopsis thaliana like this so we need the genomic and gff3 file of all these organisms then how to get these files link of that video is present in the description or you can also find from here this is the link of that video in the second step after completing the one step mc scan process then we will do the text march for mc scan process and for that we need the chromosome layout file gene link file and gff file and all these files were generated during one step mc scan process in the third and last step that the visualization of conserved centenic region among different species with multiple centenic plot that we use the multiple centenic plot and then we will get the that our centenic regions so for that we use the merged chromosome uh, file merged gene link file 
and my gff file so how we get the file we will get the file during the text merge for mscan process so how to do multiple sentence analysis let's start so these are the organisms like uh, solenum like bursacum that this is my organism in which i am studying the my gene family that hsp70 and i want to check that hsp70 gene family in also arabidopsis rice and soya bean so i need the that gff file and also the genomic file of these organisms then i will run it in the tb tool so i need to make the other folders in which i will keep the my analysis like uh, here in this folder i will keep the solenum like a persicum versus arabidopsis thaliana Polynum like a persicum was his or is a styva. So I have made these three more folders in which I will keep the one step MCS scan results that in which the uh, solenum like a persicum and arabidopsis, solenum like a persicum, or all the styva and solenum like a persicum versus glycine max. Now we open the TV tool. So go to the graph, comparative genomics, and one step MCS scan X. So here, this is our first species, Renum lycoporsicum, and here is a genomic file. We put it, and here the input structure annotation GFF3. So it's a GFF3 file. Now we move towards the Arabidopsis. Here we genomic file of our PC2, which is Arabidopsis, and a GFF file of the PC2, which is our Arabidopsis. Now where we give the output directory so we give the output directory is solenum lycoporsicum versus arabidopsis and then click on start when you click on start so it will start the computation and give you uh, different files In the meanwhile it is working so you can also run the another one step so now here solenum lycoporsicum genome and gff file and with rice or or as a styva it's a genomic file and gff file and the output directory is solenum lycoporsicum and oriza styva and click on start so these two are uh, will be run and then you can also the third one is uh, Solenum lycoporsicum species 1 genomic file and then we do with soya bean genomic file of species 2 and uh, GFF file of species 2 
and the output directory is solenum like versicum versus gm and start so these three the solenum like versicum with the uh, rhabdopsis with the uh, oilus diva and with gm is uh, the one step mc scan process is started so it will take about maybe 3 4 or 5 hours depends upon the genome size and the computer or laptop specification so you will wait after that when it completed so we will do the next step so after completing the one step mcs scan so we have got these files in a Solenum like Persicum versus Aerobidopsis liana and uh, Solenum like Persicum versus Oela Stiva and Solenum like Persicum versus G Max. So now we will use the, we will do the second step that is a merge file step. So open the TV tool, go to graphics comparative genomics and then text march for mcscan x so here we need the here we can make another folder that is merged files so here we open that Solenum like Persicum versus Arabidopsis Triana. So first we do the GFF file. So this is this is a GFF file. Solenum like Persicum and Arabidopsis Triana GFF. Now go to the Solenum like Persicum versus Orella Stiva. So it's a GFF file. Then go to Solenum like a Persicum versus Gmax and put its GFF file. So we have <coughs> added the GFF file of all these three species with Solenum like a Persicum. If you have the fourth one, so you can add the four or five uh, species here and then here you put the output directory and give here name gff and start so within second the all the four species gff file my file is prepared so now select all delete now again we need another one file that is a gene link file so this is a gene link file there are two type of one is gene type another one is gene links so we need the gene links so we add gene link file of from all the folders gene links then another one is uh, this one gene links and here give the name gene links and start so here we are merging files finish okay now we need third one that is a chromosome so we are is chromosome this is the chromosome layout so one this one is the second and this one is Solenum like Persicum versus G Max, and here we can give the name 
modify the chromosome and start merging file finished okay now we go to the our folder my file so here we are we have got these three files now these three files we will use to generate our collinearity figure so this is the part one of our video of our uh, about the culinary analysis among multiple species in the part two video we will do that how we can use these three files to generate a multiple species culinary or sentinel analysis so hopefully it will help you if you have any query please let me know thank you